Okay, it's time for another tutorial from this August Sparkleberry box. We're going to be using designs from So Fancy today. They give us eight free files every month, you guys, and you can find those files by scrolling down to the very bottom of every page on So Fancy and click on Sparkleberry Files, and they will update every single month. And like I said, like eight to 11 files every month, and it's free for box and VIP members. So these are the files for this month, which is from our August box, and they are absolutely amazing. Today we're gonna be using the files from Hey Let's Make Stuff, and I'm really excited about these and putting them on my mask. I'm so excited. So go check out Corey's site, Hey Let's Make Stuff. She has so many cute designs. Go check her out, she's awesome. All right, so we're gonna start with this create your own sunshine. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna ungroup it. That is because we're using more than one color and we wanna separate them. So I'm separating them and then I'm gonna select the one color that I know is gonna be solid because it needs to be mirrored. So I'm going to right click and then flip that horizontally and that's my mirroring, that's how I mirror. Then I'm gonna grab it all, resize it down to a about three inches because that's what I need to, that's the size I need for my mask so it works out perfectly. I'm gonna put it up in the top left hand corner of my screen so I can save all that precious vinyl. I'm gonna leave the sun alone. It does not need to be mirrored because it is actually gonna be, um, we're gonna cut that out of pattern. So now we're gonna go to send and whenever we send, we're gonna have all these choices of how we wanna cut and today we're gonna cut by fill. And this means that the yellow will cut separately from the black and that's how I wanna do it. So first I'm gonna make sure to change the yellow to HTV Smooth because that's what we cut pattern on and it's also what we cut Easy Weed on as well. So I'm changing both of these settings to Heat Transfer Smooth and they are gonna be just so easy to weed, just watch. So now I'm gonna uncheck all of the boxes because I'm really only wanting just to cut one first. So the first one we are cutting is going to be the yellow because that's out of the pattern, okay? Remember pattern is put pretty side up on your mat, just like this. This is how you load it in and then I'm going to move it up as far as I can into the left hand corner. It's not going to cut into those black because we're cutting by fill. Remember that. This is a different way. You may not be used to it. So we're going to go ahead and send that, cut that, and then get ready for our next one. So our next one is going to be cut out of the beautiful passion pink easy weed. And I'm putting that upside down just like this, you guys. Remember it's mirrored, okay? So it's upside down on your mat and then we're gonna send that. Now it is time to work on our next project in just a second. We're waiting for this to send. And we're gonna go ahead and pull in Just Chill Out, which is the other adorable Hey Let's Make Stuff design that we're using this month. And I love it because it really just has this nice positive um, vibe and that's what we're wanting right now during these crazy times. So I'm just right here just coordinating my colors so that I can remember what colors go with what. I'm making my green green, my pink pink, and then that light pink is gonna be where I'm putting my pattern, okay? Resizing it down to about three inches tall so it'll fit on my mask. And now we're gonna again cut by fill. Okay, so I select the fill option. I uncheck all my boxes except for that pink one. Right here, I realized that I did not mirror my design. So I'm gonna grab everything that's solid and I'm gonna flip that and then I'm not going to flip the one that's patterned because we're cutting that pretty side up today. Then I'm going to, again, move my cone to the far upper left-hand corner so I can save all the vinyl possible, cut it, and then move to the next one, which is gonna be the green. So the green is um, the green Easy Weed. We're using green apple Easy Weed, actually. We make sure to select that. Make sure that um, we're on heat transfer smooth, which we are. Remember that it's glossy side down, so it's upside down. If it's a solid color, it's upside down, just like that. And then we're going to cut our pattern. Now our pattern's gonna be pretty side up, so the pattern's gonna be looking at us, and we're actually using HTV Glitter. So let's make sure we change this setting to what I use, which is HTV Glitter setting. If you use a Cricut, you would use the um, Iron On Plus option. And then we're going to make sure, double check, if all the settings are correct, and cut. And now it's time to weed, yay! All right, so it's weeding time. Um, here you can see how easy the easy weed is to weed. We love that. And these designs, even though they're small, because they're HTV, it makes it super 
easy. I, don't, I guess this, the adhesive sticky sheet makes it really easy to weed. Of course, pattern is always super easy to weed. When you get it from Sparkleberry, it's amazing. I love how this sun looks. It looks like a rainbow. And we're just weeding all the projects right now. Um, and then we're gonna move on to the fun pressing part. But here's the passion pink. Oh, I love this color. I love it so much. It's so perfect. So you guys, if you don't, didn't get the August Sparkleberry box, then you must sign up for the September box. It's so much fun. We are going to have a blast. And this is the kind of stuff we do. We do tutorials just like this. And you get to watch me weed. I mean, what could be more fun than that, right? No, actually, everybody really enjoys that part. Um, so I let you in on it so you can see the actual weeding part. Try not to look at the nails. I'm in total quarantine mode right now. I've isolated myself completely. Completely. All right, so now let's go on. We're weeding the HTV glitter. Now, because we're just using this super simple design, it's not going to cause us a lot of uh, grief, as sometimes it does if we're not careful. Um, but if you have little bitty intricate pieces, it's a lot harder. So it's just this one solid piece. It's going to be easy peasy today. And I'm going to cut the other passion pink design for the other one. I don't know which one this is. I think this is the ice cream cone one. Yeah, I had a little bit of trouble getting that going, but it it's gonna look it's gonna be so worth it. I've really enjoyed making this video today for you guys. You're you're really, really, really gonna love how much we've jazzed up these face masks. Alright, so a couple little pieces out of this and then we will be moving on. Um, don't forget to check out the website. If you don't have a Sparkleberry box, it's Sparkleberry Inc. That's I-N-K. Dot com. We have the best subscription box in the entire world and I love it so much and I love my box members. We are really, really, really just such a, a great group. I'm so blessed to have them. All right, almost finished here. And we are going to get started on the fun pressing part. Oh, look at it, it's so cute. I love it, love it. All right, let's see. Next, I'm gonna show you what we're putting these on. They're Goodfellow masks. Can you believe it? $4, you get two of them. I got them at Target, love them. They fit really well too. They they aren't like that weird pointy face look. Like, they're really, really cute. Look at this, and they have the metal at the top. So I really love them. They're very comfortable. I'm smiling with my eyes, just like I want you to. Now let me show you this little trick. We're gonna mask this all at one time. So remember that the pattern does not come on a, a carrier sheet, so you have to mask it. So I'm squeegeeing it on. Remember there's a backer. You have to take that backer off. The backer is very, it must come off, otherwise it will ruin the whole project. So we're taking that off, I'm putting it all on one carrier sheet, and boom, we are ready to press. So with these little guys, I kind of struggled. I'm gonna be using my um, Cricut, my little mat that came with my Cricut Easy Press, and I'm gonna slide that in. I did it two different ways. This way I had it folded, which, you know, there's metal in that mask, so it just makes, it's just really, there's big seams, you know, so um, I, I really didn't have any trouble though. So I just put my cover sheet on, which this is actually parchment paper. I'm going to do the full press, really good pressure right here. With an easy press, you want to be at 325 degrees Fahrenheit and press it for about 12 to 15 seconds. So I'm going the full, um, the full range today and I just pulled it off. Boom, I'm done. How easy was that? And look how stinking cute. You guys, you can use your scraps for masks like this. And look, that is bound to make somebody smile. Look at that. It's so fun. I love it. So this is my first mask, my Create Your Own Sunshine mask. I think it may be one of my favorite. I love it. Let's start with the next one. Grab your high tack sheet. That's the one that measures 12 by 10 inches. And that's what, it's the one that's super rigid. That's the one you're gonna use to transfer your HTV glitter pattern, okay? The medium tack's used for regular. The HTV glitter goes with the high tack mask. And it is sticky, boy it is sticky. Just be careful not to get any fuzz and stuff on it while you're doing your other stuff. But first, I've just masked this. Even though it's just one little piece, it just makes it stay a little better. So let's move on. We're gonna be using the quick tack method for this. A quick tack is literally one second, you guys. You just take it, put it where you want it, cover it with your parchment sheet, and then you're gonna be give it a really good press, like just for a solid one second, maybe two, and pick it up. Boom, carefully peel that carrier sheet off and it really should stick that first time. This mat that I just pointed to, that Cricut Easy, um, the Easy Press mat, you want that. It really makes, if you have the Easy Press, you want this mat. It's, it serves as a pressing pillow, but it's also, it reflects the heat. So it really solidifies that 
that one second press and it does a really good job. Now it started raining, so you guys are gonna hear that in the background. Another one second tack right here. Boom, just like that. Now we're gonna lay down our high tack with the HTV glitter, which is the inside of our ice cream. Don't worry, you guys are gonna get a nice view of this in a minute and the finished product. We're gonna do another one second tack. Um, I went a little longer here. Uh, just for safety measures, but this really prevents you from having a lot of shrinkage, especially when you have knockouts on your project like this has, um, because you want to be careful how you layer things, and this prevents shrinkage. So now I'm just doing the full press. I, mean, I would need about another 10 seconds so that every layer has at least 12 seconds. So that's what my goal is, is to make sure every layer has at least 12 seconds at a good firm pressure, okay? Remember, we're at 325 for Easy Weed um, on the Easy Press, but 305 for a regular one. Look at it. I love it. Do you guys like it? I really, 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 this turned out so much cuter than I thought it was going to turn out. I knew it was going to be cute, but I didn't know it was going to be this cute. Look at them. Who would not want to wear these masks? Oh my goodness. So cute. So there you go. So, so simple. If you are not a box member, you still have time to sign up for the September box. Um, that is on the 20th. So make sure you go to www.sparkleberryinc, that's I-N-K dot com. Thank you guys so much. Have a fabulous day. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching.